Today we are going to be talking about worst dates. dates. This one guy in the past where I had been on several dates with him. He was a really sweet, nice guy. But I found myself forcing myself to laugh at his jokes. Everyone was telling me like, Vanessa, you guys would look so cute together. You have to go on more dates with him. Just give him second chances. Her, we had went out to eat, we went shopping. I actually ended up buying like the cutest sweater ever. So that was the like highlight of the date. <laughs> so we get back to my house and like it is time for the first kiss and we hadn't had like any interaction, like we hadn't held hands. This is what a normal kiss should be like, right? Ah, yay! This is him and this was me. <clears throat> <laughs> he ate my face! The worst thing, he's got my sweater because I mixed up the bet. We mixed up our shopping bags. So he still has my sweater. <laughs> and I have his sweater he bought for his mom. <laughs> what was your worst date? It was back in Missouri. I got distracted or something, but I ended up at a Mongolian barbecue all the way in Kansas. <laughs> and then he accidentally knocks my water and it gets all over me. Me being nice, I'm like, oh, no, no, it's okay. And I'm like, under my breath, like, oh my God. <laughs> I'm in Kansas. I'm drenched. I was far from home <laughs> when there was like a Mongolian barbecue like 10 minutes away. In my opinion, a date can't really go bad unless, actually can. But yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. But the dates I went on with this guy weren't completely awful. It just wasn't clicking. And then now he has my sweater. So make sure you are comfortable. Don't force yourself into anything, even if people are telling you to, like your mom. <laughs> and you want to know what the best part about worst dates are? You may not enjoy it at the time, but later down the road in life, it's going to be an amazing story to tell to your girlfriends. And you're going to have a great laugh with them. Mm -hmm. <laughs>